Oh, Harry is going to kill me. It's nine o'clock. I'm supposed to be down here at half seven, eight o'clock, kind of like usual, but I slept in. He's going to absolutely kill me. Oh, here's the band. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Well, Harry. How are you? What? What time do you call this? I know, I know, I know. Um, oh, I do uh, I've no excuse. I slept in. There's no, no point lying to you. I slept in. It's my own fault. I'm very sorry. It won't happen again. Uh, I'll get cracking here straight away. Right, right, right. Just try not to let it happen again. We've a lot of work to be done here. Uh, I've got up to Ed's here. He's after giving me a phone call there. He wants me to do something, so I have to call up and have a chat with him. Oh, what's that about? Ah, oh, he just wants me to build an old shed for him. An old sheep are out in the field, and it's give. It's giving him a bad winter, so he kind of wants, he's no real shelter to put the sheep in, so I, uh, he asked me to build a bit of a shelter for him, so I have to go up and have a chat with him, see what exactly he wants, and show me where he wants it and everything, and I may order materials, and he said he's bringing his sheeps over to his friend's house to uh, another farm there down in one of the other towns. He's taking the sheep off him for a few weeks till we get it built, and... He's going to bring him back then, so I may head on here. I told him I'd be down there half an hour ago, but I was waiting for you. Um, I need you to let out the cows. They need to be fed. They need to be bedded. I need you to put away the bales off the back of the Renault. I took the grease uh, pallets off this with the John Deere. So the John Deere's in the big shed with the pallet fork still on the back. So you need to put on the loader, take off them bales, stack them in there with the other hay bales. And feed the cows, bed the cows. Well, they need to be let out, so you have to bed them and feed them. And uh, just make sure the two tractors are full of diesel then, because uh, I'm going to top up that uh, diesel tank over there. So take off everything you need out. So fill the two tractors, and uh, we'll get we'll fill it up then. So I may go, I may go. Get that job done. I'll be back there in an hour, so make sure you have all them jobs done. All right, Harry, all right. No matter. Bye bye. Right. It's. I didn't even get the John Deere then. Let's get into this. Um, we could probably just take the pallet forks off here. <clears throat> I mean, might as well because we're not going to need them. And to be fair, this is already full on diesel, so just not sure about the Renault. Um, I'll wash the two tractors as well. We might as well. I'll go over here and get. I'm oh, going to take the bucket off. Where are the pallet for? Are the bale spike is in there? That's fine. And um, yeah, we don't know these bales. Stack them in there. Uh, actually, I'll just pull up to this and hook this up. And we let the cows out first because they should be let out. I can stay there. I can warm up. Set the cows out. Oh. All the hell. Happy is Larry. Fine day for November. Or for... Yeah, for November. So, I mean... Wow, yeah. Sun is absolutely splitting the trees for a November morning. Can't complain. Um, I don't think the actual diesel gauge works on this, so... Uh, one says half full and the other is empty. I don't know what the other... There's two tanks there. I don't know. I presume one is diesel and I don't know what the other one would be, but one says completely empty and the other says half full and neither of them moves when you turn on or off the tractor, so none of the gauges actually seem to work on it, so yeah. Um, that's not good. We'll just pull it over and we'll uh, fill it up and let's just pull off these straps. I'm going to ask Harry, can we do something with this trailer as well? Because this is pathetic, like we can do better than this. Get a few wire brushes on the grinder. Grind off all these surface rust. Do any welding underneath that needs to be done. Get new tires for it. Get new timber. And give the whole thing a paint up. Like, it's not a big job. I'd do it myself if Harry just lets me. I'm going to ask him when he comes back because... Yeah, that uh, that trailer's pathetic. And the holes in the timber. I'm, I'm terrified driving around with bales on the back that are just going to fall through that old wood. So... Yeah, um, I'll mention that when he comes back. Uh, shouldn't be a big job to get. So, yeah, that's all on. Just need to take off the bucket. So, there we go. I'll from that. 
He's on about selling them to York, so I don't know if anyone is coming to buy them or they could do with a wash, so I might. If I have time, I'll wash them. We'll see how things go. Right, there we go. Let's. Let's get these bales off this trailer before they do fall through the timber, because it's so bad. That's and yeah, this would have been so much faster to load these bales down in Ed's, but Harry needed the tractor for the bucket because he was tidying up that corner. It looks well. Wonder what he's gonna do with all them old mouldy bales. They need to be gone soon. I'd say he'll have to dump them. Yeah, this whole yard needs a serious tidying up, but at least he's starting, that's a good sign. Let's... Right, yeah, these have the red wrap on them. From the... Baler... That... We used. Or, well... The net wrap that... John would have used. John bailed it. So. Right. Crack on and get these moved. Okay. Just the last bail in. Absolutely perfect. So let's actually. We'll just. Pull out some of these hay bales. So we're going to need them. Cows. Might throw all four of these small ones in. And then we have a few grass bales that we're going to have to throw in. Or else we'll just dump them with the old mouldy bales. I don't know if wants to give the cows grass bales. I mean they're eating grass. Out in the. Field. They're not going to want to come back into their stable. Any more grass. It makes sense to have a bit of hay. So. We'll give them four straw bales as well. So, yeah, I will just park this back up over here. I will give it a wash. I'll fill it with diesel now in a second. I'll pull back over this uh, overkill using this trailer for the few bales we're going to be moving, but anyway. Yeah, we could definitely do better than this trailer. I mean, if we are going to be tidying up and we are going to be doing more bales and we are kind of picking things up on this farm, I think a decent bale trailer is what we need. As a good structure, there's not no major rot. It's a lot of just surface dust that needs to be brushed off with a wire brush with a, on a grinder or something. And just repainted and freshened up. Fresh timbers. Timbers obviously rot. But there, there's no actual rot, like rot on the metal. It's just surface rust, so um, yeah, it's it could be definitely easily fixed. So I'll say it to him when he comes back. Hopefully he likes the idea. I'll even do this few bits myself. If he wants, there's no problem. If I do it in my own time, I can spend an hour or two in the evening working on it. I hope he lets me know because it'd be really fun. And anyway, yeah, let's get these in. Right, it's broken up the hay, the straw in there and the hay, so. It'll be alright, there's a little bit missing there, I could add enough bales, so. I'll leave it because there's a lot of it done, so I'll wait till we have to clean out a bit more, and. Because uh, we're pretty low on straw, so I also have to ask Harry what the story is with that, so. Or what we have to do. Um. I don't really know where he wants to leave this 
trailer. I'll leave it here beside the silo and back it in. Uh, I'll have to leave room for the lorry to come and fill up the Bowser. Because he said to leave like he's getting that filled up, so I will fill up the Renault now, whatever it takes. I think this will be a good a spot as any for this trailer. Should be fine there. It's out of the way. Let's just pull over like this. Rough. Now. Might take much, but sure. He said fill the totem, so that's what we'll do. Okay, it actually took quite a lot. I'd say it was about half full. So, that's this filled up. We can, I'll bring it over and wash it now in a sec. I'll just get the John Deere. And we can fill the John Deere up. I know it doesn't need diesel. It's not full on the gauge nearly, but look. Uh, we'll just stick something in it because if we don't, at least... Or if we do, at least we're covered, so. Let's just. Yeah. Very, very little, but look, it's full, full now. Yeah. So he can't say anything. Just back this in here. Out of the way, because we'll wash it in a few minutes. And, yeah, well, like I said, there's not much straw there, so three bales. We're going to have to do something. Any amount of hay. That's not a problem. So, yeah. Straw bales is a problem, though. So, yeah, we're going to have to... I don't know if he knows. I presume he knows how little straw is there, but... Anyway. Let's get washed. I just abandoned my bike there because Harry was shouting at me because <laughs> I was late. So... Right. Get washing. Oh, who's who's in? Oh, it's my granddad. Better take this. Hello? Oh, well, granddad, how's it going? I'm good, good, good. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. Oh, that's absolutely amazing, Grandad. Oh, thank you so much. Seriously, I... Seriously, thank you so much. Um, I've literally just got a job working on my on a farm down the road from where we live now. And, yeah, I'm going to be able to use it. He said I could use it on the farm and all. It's no problem. So, that's absolutely great. I honestly can't thank you enough. Thank you so much. I'm going to have to call up and visit you someday. I'll have to call up soon. Um, I also got my car license, so... I'll be able to get, um, I won't have to drive a tractor all the way over. I'll be able to get, I'll lend him mommy or daddy's car or Harry that I work for. Might give me a lend of his truck and I'll be able to call up and see you. So, I'll, we'll have to arrange something, Grandad. But seriously, thanks so much for that. What time did you say? Right, should be here around 2 o'clock. That's fine. I should be here anyway. Thanks, Grandad. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. Right. Well, that was a phone call. Confirming that my tractor is on the way. He's after leaving my granddad's yard on the low loader. And a fast track is on its way with my tractor on the back. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. He said he'd be here at 2 o'clock, so it's quarter past 10 now, so. Yeah, oh my god, I cannot wait. This tractor doesn't like to clean up very well. Very, very dirty. Like, oily and rusty and stuff, so. Well, uh. It's clean enough for now. The glass is clean. At least we can see out. That's the main thing. See all the black under the air filter. Wow. Yeah, it was just serviced. We serviced it when we got it going. Or when I got it going, so. She's 100% that way, like, so. It's just. People don't take care of things in its previous life. I doubt Harry would have let it get that bad. Maybe he bought it. I don't think Harry would run a thing into the ground that much. Because the rest of the machinery here seemed to be okay. Yeah. Used I suppose. But like. 
Actually, you have to use them. But, like, this John Deere here is immaculate once it's washed. Small bit of paint flake on it, but... Like, it's wear and tear. These things happen on machinery, like. But, once it's washed, it's immaculate. And, it, like, everything works on it. All the gauges. Or, none of the gauges work on the Renault. So, yeah, we could probably leave this on. We washed the loader with it. Because the loader is actually quite dirty. And the glass in this is filthy. Wow. Yeah, this needs a wash. Okay. Tractor number two. Time to wash. My heart is just after pulling in there. He's on the phone in the truck, so we'll leave him. It's all cleaned off. No, absolutely spick and span. What a nice tractor when it's cleaned. No, absolutely perfect. Nice. Right, I best go tell Harry that my tractor is on its way. Well, Harry. Well, did you get everything done? Yeah, I got all the bales put in. I bedded the cows with straw. There's only three small square bales left of straw, so... That's going to have to be sorted. As you know yourself, there's any amount of hay. We could nearly eat ourselves at this stage. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, two tractors are full of diesel. Two tractors have also been washed. And I just backed the bale trailer in beside the silo there. I hope that's kind of a good spot for it. Seems it's out of the way. Yeah, yeah, that's a right spot for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, I'll uh, get on the phone here and I'll call the, the company here to come and fill out diesel. The two tractors are full and cows are out yeah you bedded them did you give them hay yeah i used up the last of the small square bales of hay i threw them in so uh, i don't know what you want to do with the grass bales that's there oh yeah i'll dump them i'd say no i want to get rid of them there's no point giving them grass bales um we've enough hay now so we might as well give them the hay so yeah i'll sort that out we'll get straw and we'll dump those grass bales and yeah i, I need to sort that out um one, uh, I have actually two things to tell you. The bale trailer that you have over there. Could I maybe fix it up in my own time? I won't take time out of your day. Like, uh, you obviously have jobs for me to do, whatever. But I'll do it in my own time. Um, I think maybe if you got a few wire brushes uh, for a grinder and uh, some paint, some fresh timbers, um, new tires for it maybe. Uh, I could probably fix it up in my own time. I'll back it into the shed and yeah I'll grind the haul down I'll take out all the timbers well, uh, I'll put all the timbers back in it fresh timbers varnish up them put a coating on the timbers so they don't rot as quick and I'll paint up the steel once it's grinded down any bits that need to be welded on it I'll weld it up um, as long as you get tyres maybe for it as well hmm yeah 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 I suppose the code it is in bad old shape over there yeah 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 um yeah, leave it with me. I'll uh, have a few things to sort out, so just remind me in a day or so. But yeah, uh, we will do it, 100%. I'll let you work on that, so... um, Yeah, just give me a few days. I have to sort out straw. I have to build this rope for Ed. Uh, so I might actually measure the timber that's on the trailer now. When I'm getting stuff for Ed's shed, uh, I'll get extra timber. And uh, we can take it and put it on that. So yeah, right. Great idea. Um, what was the other thing you wanted to say? Oh, yeah. My uh, Scott phone to my granddad there. He said the tractor is on its way. My Ford. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Just I'm looking forward to seeing that now. Can't wait to see what that looks like. Yeah, yeah. He just, um... He threw on a few weights on the front of it and stuff. He had lying around that he didn't really use, so... There's, a uh, I think he said 400 or, or 600. I can't remember. KG weight on the front. Um, all in the plates. And... Yeah, he's... He's wired two new beacons on the roof. And other than that then she's pretty standard. So he said there was skinny wheels there. Uh, for fertilising. Uh, he said he didn't know if I wanted them or not. So he didn't show them on. But they're home in the corner of the shed in his house. In his farm. So if we do ever need them. I suppose we could get them. But I wasn't sure whether to take them. I have nowhere to store them at the house. So I didn't really want to be asking you. Could I leave them here? But they're there if we do need them. 
Right, right, that's handy to know, that's handy to know. Because I don't actually have any for these tractors, so... That won't be handy if we do get into fertilising. Anyway, I won't worry about that, Jeff. Uh, what time is it coming at? Uh, it should be here around 2. Three, eleven 11 o'clock. Uh, right. Should we get something to eat there? And, uh... We'll uh, have a little tidy around. I might have a look over at the other side of that uh, silo. We'll have a chat and see what we want to do with them bits. Okay. I'll uh, get me a flask of tea here and a few sambos. And sure, I'll meet you over by the manure pit then. Alright. I'll go in here and make these phone calls. And I'll meet you over there in half an hour. Okay, Harry. Oh, my bike is over here. I forgot. Back in rain. Absolutely typical. Rain. I mean, we want to do some. Does look like it's only going to be a shower though. It's still fairly sunny out, so yeah. Just chill here and wait for Harry, I suppose. Um, yeah, this is the corner he wants to tidy out, so looks like an old harvester there. And... Jesus, thunder! My God, where's that after coming from? Yeah. I only after saying earlier it was a fantastic November morning, then this comes out well, absolutely nowhere. Still sunny, but it's only a shower, I'd say. Yeah, the bales, there's a generator there. Uh, and it looks like an old harvester. An old, I don't know what the cab of that one is. A white cab. I don't know, I have to go over and have a look. So we just have to wait for the rain to stop and wait for Harry to come over. Well, Harry. Well, uh, I wasn't expecting that shower. You could have come inside, sure. Jesus Christ, you didn't have to stand under the shed. Knock on the door and come on in, like. Ah, well, I was out here, I was on my phone, and I was having a look over here to see what uh, we're going to be doing, or what you're planning on doing. Yeah, uh, a lot of rubbish. Um, yeah, that bale shredder probably needs to go. It doesn't really work that great. Yeah, I've used it once or twice. It's kind of on its way out. Yeah, so that could probably be scrapped. Um, around here, then. Ah. <sighs> We've all these mouldy bales, they need to go. Um, these cages, they could also go. Seem to be nothing down there. Right, back out the other side. There's a lot of mouldy bales there. Holy crap. All straw as well, by the looks of it. I know, I know, but she couldn't bid the cows of that to get hitchy and agitated. And she wouldn't know what being it to be fecking anything in that to get a disease over or anything, so... We best just dump it and have fresh stuff. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Gun deer trailer. Um, and there's even grain in that. Ugh. Yeah, Jesus. That'll need to be gone as well. Um, we'll clean up that trailer, that looks like a good trailer. Yeah, yeah, I used to use it. Yeah, yeah, pretty horrible. So, we could pull it out and sell it, I suppose. Clean up. And the rest then is just more rubbish. Barrels, more bags of cement. Jesus. What's that? A lone labour climb up here. Is that a labour like a track bulldozer kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of rubbish around here now. You'll see an awful lot of it. There's not an old harvester. Another blower of a thing. Steel beams. Um, Watch yourself there now. No fall and break your neck. That's the last thing I need. I want, I want. Uh, there's just a rack down there for putting a bale in. Doesn't seem to be anything else then. Around here. Yeah. So what are we doing then? Ah, we'll get another skip, I suppose, in the next day or so. And we'll throw what we can into it. And we'll uh, scrap the harvester and the steel and anything else that's here. And we'll tidy up this corner then as well. And that'll just be this whole side of the farmyard all sorted then. Um, That really needs to be done. Yeah, it's kind of getting bad. Um, Right. Sure... What are we doing with this header then? What's that off? Off an old harvester over at scrap corner there. Um, I'll leave that. I won't scrap that yet. It might come in handy. I might sell it. It's working perfect. It just needs to be repainted maybe. Okay. Right. Right, so there's not much we can do. Um, you should come on inside then and we'll wait for your man to come with the diesel and wait for your tractor to come on the low loader. Ideal, ideal. Okay. Well, I guess the tractor's outside, Harry. I heard him pulling in. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. I want to see this as much as you do. Ah, oh, there it is. Wow. My God. 
The holy man, it's absolutely immaculate. Your granddad must really look after yokes. Aye, would you? He always kept the yoke in right order. Well, congratulations. Fair play to you. 4D340 and uh, in absolutely perfect condition. Wow. I'm gobsmacked by that. I can't get over how clean it is. Come on, take her off, take her off. I'm dying to see what this shock is like. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Wow. Uh, how's it going? Right. You just let down them ramps there, please. Perfect. Thank you. Hi. Right, get on in. Climb in door. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Right, let's do this. Oh my god, look at this. Holy crap, and we have a goddamn radio. Oh my god, we have a radio. Wow. I can't believe this is my tractor. What the hell, like? Wow. Yeah. Right. Let's give her the start. Right. Let's back her off then. Oh, the chair has suspension as well. Air suspension in it. See where I'm going now. There we go. Oh yeah. Wow. That is so cool. I can't believe that's mine. Well, fair play to you, kid. That is a cracking tractor. Absolutely cracking. Right, give your man a hand there. Oh, set them back up and let him be on his way. Alright. Wow. That's cool. Right, bring her for a spin. See what you think of her. Right, so, let's uh, get in and see. Oh, yeah, that's. That's cool. Right, let's get in then. Quick, I know that. I thought he's running a hundred horsepower. Forty-two kilometers an hour, only forty-three. My God! Oh, this is so cool. Right, let's spin around in the gate here. Property keeps slightly opening. Let's have a look at the hinge on it. Oh, I'm so happy. Well, I'll be driving this home tonight to the house. I won't be cycling the bike. I know that much. A bit of paint on the front of the bonnet there for some heat, I'd say. I mean, that's absolutely so fun to drive. That's amazing. Yeah, an A340, I never even realised. They're 125 horsepower. Are they? Yep. That's the most powerful tractor we have on the farm at the minute. Now, like I said, you can use it all you like, as much as you like. But if you're using it on my farm, I'll pay for the diesel. You can fill it up out of the tank over there. That's not a problem. Anything goes wrong with it, it's out of your pocket. Any tyres get damaged. It needs a service. Anything breaks on it. 
anything like that it's it's maintenance is all yours i don't mind putting diesel in it if you're going to be working on my farm that's fair enough but yeah if you're working on someone else's farm which i hope you're not i hope you're working here because i need you we're kind of starting to get the ball rolling here so if you're working here no problem using the diesel like i said a hundred times but i ain't fixing it i that's i have two tractors here you can use them and i'll fix everything on them so i think that's fair yeah that's a hundred percent harry i uh i love it 600 kg on the front yeah that's not bad that'll lift a few that'll lift a heavy spreader or anything on the back any heavy weights on the back that'll lift it no problem them weights on the front that's handy to have yeah well i can't get over that right well it's starting to get dark here now so you can head on home there if you want and be down early in the morning um just let the cows back in there before you go and uh make sure you're on time in the morning i'm gonna head in here i have a few phone calls to make get materials and stuff and sort out heads so go on i'll chat to you there in the morning all right is all right if i leave the push bike in that shed over there with the lawnmower yeah yeah fire in there that's no problem that's no problem at all right see you harry bye bye right just let these cows in throw the bike in the shed and i am heading home oh my god i can't believe i have my own tractor seriously look at it that's mine my tractor oh it's surreal wow what the hell is after happening that is crazy oh right let's get these cows in right they're in i have hay there with fresh straw yeah i'd say we'll be getting straw very soon and sounds good to be able to do that trailer so if he gets the timber we could probably pull it in tomorrow maybe and start grinding it down and yeah because i don't think we're going to need it too much bar maybe getting straw first and then we'll pull it in and grind it down and stuff anyway let's hit this in here i can't believe we have our own tractor it's still it's I'm gobsmacked. I could probably sell this bike now. Tell you the truth. So I'm not going to need it. But yeah. Let's head her for home in our new tractor. I still look at it. I still can't believe it's ours. An A340. Our Star SLE. I may look into it. I don't really know much about it. Harry said it's 125 horsepower. Wow. I think the Reynolds is 103 and that's 100 the John Deere so yeah let's get in probably turn off them beacons we won't need them flashing away and um, yep let's pull that down pull the door in let's turn on the radio let's head up for home Go. Lights, nice. Oh, it's so great to have a radio. I love it so much. thing now pulling in here with this oh. let's uh head inside wow amazing 